And then for get count, um, this is just, it's trying to find out how many things are going to be in this grid view. So you give it what to return. We can return packs for adapter dot length. So that is all of the packages. It's counting it. So now that we have that, we go into get view. So in here, it's it's you create a view that's going to be displayed. So um, for each specific item, so type in image view and the image. Let's see, let's have yeah, image view equals new image view. And then this is where the context comes uh, in handy. M context. And then we do image view dot set image drawable. And so all we have to do now is packs for adapter and then now this this is the position it's at so let's change our our zero into pose or position and then we can use packs for adapter position dot icon so now it's simply just setting the image view into the or setting the background of the image view into the icon for the specific package. Now that we have that, um, let's just set a couple parameters for the image view. So, image view dot set set layout parameters layout params new grid view dot layout params and then 65 65 or you can choose whatever value that you want um, it's going to set the size of the icon so you can play around with that later on and I spelled this wrong. Grid U Control Shift O. And then after we set the parameters, if you want you can add a little bit of padding. So image view dot set padding. And I'm just going to do three 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 Now we have created the view um, for each of the items, but we did not give it back. So it's asking to get the view, but we're, we're returning null. So just change this to image view. So now it is returning the view that we just made. Now we are done with draw adapter. So back at main activity, let's first create an object called drawer adapter, which is the class we made, and we will call it drawer adapter object. Now that we have this object created, first off, let's actually call the method that we made. So, underneath pm equals get package manager, type set packs. Now that we've done that, we need to set the drawer adapter object. So, drawer adapter object equals new drawer 
adapter. And as you can see, it's asking for context in the packs. Because back in the drawer adapter, that's what we did here. We made it so it asked for the context and packs. So, just change the context to this. Now that we have that, we do drawer grid dot set adapter and the adapter is drawer adapter object alright so now we have this set up now let me show you what it looks like whenever we run it as you can see um, it's not much of a grid view so that's because we need to change a few things in the grid view on the XML. So go into your activity main layout XML file and under the grid view type Android column width and I'm going to set it to 90 dB and then Android num columns I'm going to set that to auto fit Android vertical spacing I'm going to set that to 50 dp then Android horizontal spacing I'm also going to set that to 50 dp Android stretch mode into column width and then Android gravity into center. Now that we have that, let's see what it looks like. Now it looks complete, and that concludes this video. I encourage you to mess around with the values of the grid view, uh, specifically for your device, but later on we are going to talk more about this and how to optimize it for any device. Next video we will look at adding a label underneath each icon and we will look at ordering each of the apps in alphabetical order. And we might get into launching and other things like that. It just depends how much time it takes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like